can see by my clock here that it is 706. So um, I want to invite you, if you haven't yet, to open up your chat. And uh, if you want to, um, you know, write comments, wish anyone Shabbat Shalom or anything like that, uh, feel free to do that there. Um, I'm going to ask everybody to go on mute for now um, so that uh, we can all sing along together for um, for the service. And you may have noticed, by the way, that um, we uh, the, the rabbi is, is absent tonight. He is on his vacation and, and uh, hopefully enjoying his time with his family. And so I'm going to be the one uh, conducting the services tonight. Um, and uh, we'll get started. So uh, our opening song for Shabbat tonight is Hine, um, Hine Matov, behold, behold how good it is for us all to be here together, um, especially here starting in a new year. It's a, it's a great way to start off the year together. So uh, please join me, Hine. sing one song beholding how good it is to be together and we're going to transition from that into the next song Matohu Ohalecha Yaakov Mishkanotecha Yisrael how divine are your tents so Jacob how uh behold your holy dwelling so Israel so um we'll put the words up on the screen for you and you'll find them on page four in your seat door So I want to take this moment to formally welcome you all into our Shabbat service tonight uh, on New Year's Day, no less. Thank you for joining us. It's so wonderful that you decided to choose um, this way to, to spend your, your New Year's Day is uh, here as a community together. Um, 
we're going to uh, transition now into uh, our next song um, to continue bringing us into Shabbat, and that would be Shalom Aleichem, which is uh, literally means peace upon you. Um, but it's it was written in Sfat and it was written um, to welcome in the holy messengers of Shabbat, the the Malachi Hashalom, um, the messengers of peace for Shabbat. Um, you'll find it on page six in your Sidur. And we'll put the words on the screen for you. And please join me, Shalom Aleichem, we're welcoming in these messengers of peace for Shabbat. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashare, Malachi Yayon. Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem Shalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi Kadosh Baruch Hu, Baruch Hu Ni Leshalom, Malachi Ashalom, Malachi Elyon. Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu. I believe it is time to invite the Silver family up onto our virtual Bima here. Uh, hi, Silver family. <laughs> We've got uh, Scott, Laurel, Eva, and Nora. Thank you for joining us. You have your Shabbat candlesticks ready? Yes? Ready to light? Do you want to um, take one of the readings on the page uh, to kind of uh, enter us into the uh the tradition of candle lighting we'll put it yeah. we can put it up on the screen for you yeah you can do it on the screen because it's somewhere great great so we can we moment. can put that up on the screen for you um if you're following along at home you'll find this on page nine um do you you can pick one of the do you want to pick light as the symbol or do you want to pick in the beginning you which whatever one y'all haven't done in a while uh, they're they're both right there on the page how all about right. in the beginning all right in the beginning there was darkness and the spirit of god hovered over the darkness then God created light and the work of creation was begun. As we kindle the Sabbath lights, we remember the, ma the majesty of creation and rejoice in our ability to witness it again. Thank you. That's a beautiful kavana um, and, and an intention that we're setting for lighting these Shabbat candles. So uh, if you'll go ahead, you can light the candles and I will recite the blessing. You're a good helper. Very nice. All right. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotam v'tzivanu lehadlik ner lehadlik ner Shel Shabbat. Thank you so much for helping us with the uh, the candles and um, seeing the this beautiful family here in front of me. I'm reminded uh, that this is the perfect time for us to uh, to sing the family blessing together. Um, and as we do so, uh, if you want to gather your family around you or if they're not with you right now, take a moment to uh, 
to think about them and, and kind of uh, hold them in your heart as we sing together the family blessing. Um. take this moment to recognize that um, that this is this is often a time in the service where we would chant Ma'ariv Aravim, which is uh, which is said every night, um, but in particular, uh, maybe we appreciate it as we're paying such attention to light while we're lighting the candles. Um, the the importance, the significance of the distinction between darkness and light. Um, so it's the blessing for God, and it literally means, God literally evenings the evening. Uh, Hebrew uh, sometimes uses things as vow, as, as verbs that, uh, that we don't always think of as verbs. So evening and evening in the evening. Um, and many of you, I've, I've shared this song here before a couple of times. Um, this is called Roll Into Dark. It's a chant um, related to Ma'ariva Ravim. So especially since, uh, you know, in the wintertime with the, the nights being um, is so much longer, uh, the days being so much shorter, uh, I want to take this moment to, to recognize the importance of, uh, of the darkness and um, that distinction between day and night and light and dark. Um, so we'll put the words on the screen for you. You can join me. This is Roll Into Dark. Roll into dark, roll into light, night becomes day, day turns to night. Roll into dark, roll into light, light becomes day, day turns to night. take this opportunity um, not just to uh, to lead us in songs, but I also want to pay attention to some of the uh, beautiful words that we have in our Sidur. Um, so this next one is on page 13. 
um, and it's a uh, it's for the miracles of creation and life. So um, we'll put the words on the screen for you and uh, feel free to read along with me. We thank you, God, for the gift of life. We thank you for the miracle of each new day, the sunrise and sunset, the moon and stars. We thank you for the blessings of family and friends, for all these miracles in our world. Adonai, our God, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us, for all these and more, we offer thanks. I think it's a really beautiful expression of gratitude, which is um, a very Jewish concept. We definitely are very big on exp expressing gratitude, and especially now uh, as we are entering a new secular year and um, hopefully, you know, coming into it with a uh, new, new perspective. Um, and it reminds us to appreciate um, some of the wonders and beauties that we have in our world. Um, so our next prayer is the Shema, um, the watchword of our people. So uh, we'll put the words on the screen for you and uh, please join me with Shema. Listen. Shema Yisrael Adonai take this moment uh, to invite our volunteers for chanting the Vea Hafta. Uh, I see we have Scarlett. Is your, uh, do we have Molly too? It will just be me tonight. Okay, wonderful. Scarlett, well, thank you for joining us and thank you for volunteering to read the Vea Hafta. Um, well, do you need the words on the screen? I have them. Thank you. You have them. Okay. So, uh, well, well, I guess we'll put the words on the screen for everybody else if they want to follow along in case you don't have the CD or print it out. So you'll, you'll see the words on the screen in just a moment and take it away, Scarlett. Okay. The Hayu Hadivarim Ha Ele Asher Anohi Mitzaveha Hayom Aleva Veha Beshinan Tom Levaneha Bedi Bartavam Beshiv Teha Bedi Teha Uvlete Ha Vadere Ushobeha Uvkumeha Ushar Tom Leo, Ali Deha, the Hayula for what? Bane Neha, Uk Tap Tom, Almas is out Beteha, Ubi Shareha, Lemontis Keru, the Asitem, Ed Comis Votai, the Hetem Kushim Lehem, Ani Adonai Elohem. 
I share how to take to your time. I met error, it's me trying. Leo, not him, well, him. Ani, I don't I have. That was wonderful. Thank you so much, Scarlett. Thank you for volunteering, for joining us. And uh, uh, my best to you and your family. I hope you're having a happy new year. Thank you, you too. All right. So um, now is the moment when we think about redemption. Um, specifically, this is Shira Tayam, uh, the song of the sea that our ancestors sang um, upon crossing safely um over the the sea of reeds um and actually i thought uh in honor of the fact that it's uh the new year i thought it, this would be an opportunity to offer something new to probably everybody else here um so this is um this micha mocha is uh an original that i wrote and it's in thinking about the the absolute joy um that our ancestors felt uh upon that witnessing that miracle and being part of that miracle, um, being redeemed from slavery in Egypt for hundreds of years, crossing the sea and 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 coming to a new place. Um, and I think that's particularly poignant, um, getting out of the year 2020 and into 2021. And hopefully we're seeing this with a sense of hope and joy. Um, that's my hope. So um, I'll put the, we'll put the words on the screen for you. Um, it's Micha Mocha, um, but there's a, a little bit of English in there too. And we'll start with a Yai Lai Lai in order to get uh, used to the melody. Um, and that way you'll pick it up and you'll be able to join me on the Micha Mocha parts. So this is Micha Mocha. <laughs> So I wanna take a moment to uh, talk to you all about this week's parasha. It's interesting the way parshiot of the Torah are named. Often it has to do with the first meaningful, unique word or phrase that occurs at the beginning of the parasha. This week's parasha is Vayechi, which means, and he lived. Yet it ultimately deals with the deaths of both Jacob and his son Joseph too, by the end. 
Interestingly enough, the same thing happens with the name of Parashat Chaye Sarah, which means the life of Sarah, but really deals with her death. All these figures from the Torah led interesting lives, and that took them on difficult journeys. I don't think the Torah is intentionally giving us the bait and switch. We do certainly learn quite a lot about the lives of our ancestors. This parasha is the conclusion to the intense family drama that occurred within Jacob's family between his sons. Jacob and Joseph actually had quite a lot in common. They were both younger sons who benefited from being their parents' favorite until that fact put their lives at risk. Jacob was forced to flee for many years to avoid his brother's wrath, possibly killing him for his deception in getting their father Isaac's blessing. And Joseph was forcibly sold into slavery and then spent many years in jail due to his brother's jealousy. But both of these seemingly negative incidents in their lives also ultimately led to very positive outcomes. Jacob met his wives, Rachel and Leah, became very wealthy and started a large family that eventually became a great nation. Joseph also became very wealthy and powerful as Pharaoh's vizier in Egypt and was then in a position to help his family and everyone during, out during the famine. Plus, he also met his wife and started a family there. Before these difficult journeys started, Jacob was a timid youth who mostly stayed home with his mother. But by the end of it, he had become Israel, the God wrestler. Joseph was a somewhat haughty youth who flaunted his father's favor and dreams of future success in front of his brothers. Yet by the end of it, he had become kinder and more humble. Both Jacob and Joseph needed to go through these extremely difficult ordeals in order to become the leaders they were destined to be. In fact, Joseph mentions multiple times when he forgives his brothers that this was the way things had to go. He doesn't appear to bear any ill will or resentment towards them. We see in this parasha that Jacob enumerates the blessings for his children and his grandchildren through Joseph. Just as we've seen for all the previous figures, it is the younger ones who are favored over the elder. Jacob blesses Ephraim over Manasseh. Perhaps this was all just in the tradition of the children of Abraham, or perhaps there could be more to it. The name Manasseh has to do with forgetting because Joseph's joy in the birth of his son made him forget all his troubles and his father's household. Whereas the name Ephraim has to do with being fruitful because God had made him fruitful in this land. It is interesting that the son whose name has to do with recognizing one's blessings is the one who receives the priority level blessing over the son whose name has to do with forgetting one's troubles. Perhaps then this is meant to teach us the importance of Hakarat Hatov, recognizing the good in our lives, even more than forgetting that we have or have had troubles. The fact that we name a parasha life when it deals with death isn't necessarily contradictory. We know that death is an inherent part of life. It's what happens before death that's worthy of note. And just as we see mention of Jacob blessing his children and grandchildren before he died, we see that Joseph lived long enough to enjoy the blessing of meeting his great grandchildren. It's the journeys we take and the relationships we cultivate that change us into a better version of ourselves and ultimately define how we live, not our deaths. Perhaps that is why this parasha is named and he lived. It bears mentioning, too, that this parasha is the conclusion to the entire book of Genesis. There's something poetic to the fact that this conclusion happens to line up with the conclusion of the year 2020 for us in the secular calendar as well. I'm sure if any of us were to look back exactly a year ago, the past year didn't go remotely as any of us could have possibly expected. And yet, throughout all the tragedies and losses of 2020, we are still here together in a very unexpected way. But just as Jacob and Joseph's misfortunes impelled them to grow, so too did we grow through the challenges of 2020. Some of us may have taken up new skills or hobbies or picked back up on ones we hadn't done for a long time. Some of us may have called up and talked to friends or family members we hadn't thought to reach out to for so long. Most of us have gained a newfound insight into and appreciation for the importance of frontline workers and teachers throughout this ordeal. Some of us may have even gotten more involved in politics and activism, lending our voices and finances to causes we heartily support. 
and so much more. It was a very tough year, but we have all changed to adapt. And some of those changes will carry through with us in 2021 ahead. The journeys we take and the bonds we forge are what have made this past year. We didn't just survive 2020. We found our own new way to live. And when things eventually do go back to normal, imagine how sweet even the simplest thing like a hug from a friend or singing together in synagogue might be. Until then, we can take a page out of the examples of Jacob and Joseph and continue to live because life will always find a way. So I want to take this moment uh, before we move on uh, in honor of the fact that this parasha, this week's parasha, is the conclusion of the story of Joseph. Um, people who know me really well might guess that um, Andrew Lloyd Webber is probably one of my favorite uh, composers of musicals. And um, he wrote a very famous musical called Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. So I wanted to take this moment to pay homage to that particular telling of the story and uh, sing a, a song for you called Any Dream Will Do. So I'm not going to put the lyrics up on the, uh, on the screen for you, but I'm sure many of you are familiar with this song. So please uh, feel free to sing along at home. Any dream will do. And I think it's very fitting um, that any dream will do uh, for, for our year ahead. I close my eyes. certain what I thought I knew far far away someone was weeping but the world was sleeping any dream will do I wore my coat with golden lining bright colors shine Wonderful and new, and in the east, the dawn was breaking, and the world was waking. Any dream will do. A crash of drums, a flash of light, my golden coat flew out of sight. The colors faded into darkness. Turn to the beginning, the light is dimming, and the dream is too. The world and I, we are still waiting, still hesitating, any dream will do. i 
waiting. Any dream will do. Any dream will do. Any dream will do. Any dream will do. Before we head into our silent meditation, I wanted to uh, call our attention to a couple other really beautiful spots in the Sidur. And um, you'll, find, uh, you'll find a responsive prayer on the top of page 18. I was wondering if we could call upon a couple of volunteers. Um, I'll, need to, I'll need to see everybody so I can call on them. Hold on a second. Um, so would anyone, we need two people, uh, volunteers. It can be either in the same household or one from different households, one each. Uh, would anyone like to, okay, I see Maggie's hand. Anybody else who would like to read the responsive with Maggie? Tina, okay, great. So Maggie and Tina, please um, go ahead and uh, let's see. Uh, maybe Maggie will read the, um, the one that's in uh, the regular font. And, um, and Tina, if you'll read the one that's in the italics. And then after the second italics, I, I'll lead the, the indented one, the God of Goodness prayer. So please take it away. On this day, which is a reminder of creation, I thank you, O oh God, for the world which you created. You have filled your world with beauty for my eyes, with music and laughter for my ears, with soft things for me to touch, with fragrances for me to smell, with fine foods to sustain me and to bring me delight. As I enjoy the many blessings which you have so bountifully granted, may I too bring goodness into the lives of others. As I recall your blessings, too many to be counted, too constant to be merited, may I be moved to thank you always as I do now. Uh, God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, which day by day sustains us, for all these things and more, we offer thanks. Amen. Thank you, Tina, and thank you, Maggie, for volunteering. Uh, so we're going to take a moment now to... Uh, to enter the silent prayer and contemplation portion of our of our service. So um, we'll put a picture up on the screen for you to um, focus on. And, um, and you can feel free to close your eyes, uh, feel free to think of um, some of the words from our prayers or the words of your own heart. Uh, we'll take a, a minute or so here to uh, offer our silent prayers. Hopefully by now you've all had a chance to um, speak your words of prayer from the heart and personal meditations. Uh, we're going to take a moment now on page 22 of the Sidor to offer our prayer, Yihila Ratzon, may the words that we've just uh, prayed silently um, be acceptable before Adonai our God, 
Uh, so please feel free to join me, Yehu page 22. As many of you may have noticed, since it is our first Friday of the month and also of the year, <laughs> secular year, um, is our tradition here at TSG to uh, to post in the chat if you can, if you want to, if you have a birthday or anniversary, some positive occasion that you would like to celebrate, um, please put it in the chat so we can celebrate you and your special occasion. Any anniversaries, any birthdays for our Simcha line, please put them in the chat. For the month of January, we have Heather's birthday just uh, two days away. Other birthdays, anniversaries for January? Well, I can tell you that uh, both my brother and my dad <laughs> have January birthdays. Yep, my dad just posted. And it doesn't just have to be birthdays or anniversaries. It can be other things you're celebrating, any other special occasions that you're celebrating this January. Feel free to put them in the chat. All right, well, it looks like Heather and my dad are the only uh, January birthday birthdays to post in here, um, but it's our custom to uh, to offer. Uh, this is a, a simon tov and mazel tov moment, as the rabbi always says. So um, please join me, and we will sing simon tov and mazel tov to. Uh, oh, okay. We've got another po January twentieth. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we do have a few a few uh, January special occasions. So please, uh, please join me, Simon Tov Umazel Tov. Simon Tov Umazel Tov Umazel Tov Simon Tov Simon Tov Umazel Tov Umazel Tov Simon Tov Simon Tov Umazel Tov Umazel Tov Simon Tov Yeah. Israel. 
So wishing a mazel tov to all the January birthdays, any anniversaries, birthdays, special occasions um, that were mentioned in the chat. And um, there were more if you um, if you happen to receive the TSG emails. We had a whole list of people, um, some of whom are here and some of whom are not um, in our community. We want to wish uh, congratulations, mazel tov, on their birthdays. Um, so we're uh, we're now going to switch gears a little bit here and offer our um, our prayers of healing to those in our community who need it. So um, if you want to start putting um, your Misha Beirach names in the chat, um, feel free to, to start to start writing them in. Um, you'll find the Misha Beirach prayer on page 22 of our Sidur, and we'll put it up on the screen for you. May the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. We're going to take this moment to uh, gaze down the list. We have a Misha Beirach list in our community to offer Misha Beirach this long list. Please, please uh, go ahead and read those names and hold them in your hearts as a community. All of these family members and temple members, people connected to us all. We want to hold them in our hearts and offer them a prayer of healing as a community together friends and co-workers members family alike <laughs> With Rafua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. May they all have a swift and full recovery. And we say Amen. At this moment, we are about to offer our Kaddish prayer in honor of those who are no longer with us. Um, if you want to take a moment to um, write any names or remembrances uh, below the line there so we can make sure we're distinguishing <laughs> between those we're offering Misha Berach and those we're offering Kaddish prayers to. Um, and um, we'll take a moment to read the Kaddish names here in our community um, to offer our Kaddish prayer. And for our Kaddish prayer tonight, we're remembering Zipporah Porath, Lori Greenberg, Earl Sanders, Larry Moskowitz, Rebecca Kaufman, David Schwartz, David Bernstein, Stephen Strauss, Donald Allen Pocock, Suzanne Goldsmith, Cecilia Carpenter, Alan Leuben, Patricia Jacobson, Florence Schwartz. And we offer tonight our yard site prayers for Murray Bennett, Gail Berman, Samuel Cash, Avraham Marco, Bessie Dash, Murray Richard Davis, Samuel Flem, Rebecca Ellis, Lance Gershon, Burton Rubin, Donald Nathanson, Sally Lambert, Leo Cassoy, David Mervis, Bernard Rothbart, Marvin Gordon, Faye Jaloff, Mo Stabnezer, Rose Sulam, David Cohen, Juliette Moldo, Abraham Gerber, Charles Kessler, Yetta Levy, Bertha Saren, David Gerald Staff, and Stanley H. Schachter. And so if you want to continue taking a moment, if there's any names that we 
um, did not just read from our cottage list, feel free to put them in the chat. And uh, I invite you, if it, is your, if it is your custom, and if you are uh, reciting Kaddish, to please rise as we recite together the Mourner's Kaddish. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah. Be'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute. Be'chayechon v'yomechon v'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael. Ba'agala u'vizman kariv v'imru. Amen. Yehe shmei raba mevarach le'alam ulalme almaya. Yit barach v'yish tabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit roman v'yit nase. V'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit halal shmei de kudsha brichu. Le'ela min kol bir chata v'shirata. Tush v'chata v'nechemata. Da'amiran be'alma v'imru. Amen. Yehe shlama raba min shmaya. V'chayim alenu ve'al ko Yisrael. Imru, Amen. O se shalom bim ramav, hu ya ase shalom. Alenu ve al ko Yisrael, ve al ko yoshve tevel, ve imru, Amen. May their memory be a blessing to all who know them. And may you find comfort among the mourners of Zion and Jerusalem. And we say, Amen. So we like to conclude that particular prayer with a prayer for peace, O Se Shalom, which you'll find uh, on the same page, page 24, and we'll, uh, and we'll sing O Se Shalom together. O Se Shalom bim Roma, who ya ase shalom ve alko Israel, ve alko yoshve tevel, ve imru imru. May the maker of peace make peace upon us and all Israel and all who dwell on this earth. And we say, Amen. At this moment, I would like to call upon our immediate past president, Maggie Freed, to deliver the announcements. Maggie? It moved me just when I was gonna unmute. So uh, we would like to thank everyone who participated tonight and a special thanks to Cantor Alyssa for carrying the whole load tonight. And, uh, and a very nice uh, Devar Torah. Uh, and we also thank the Silver family for lighting the candles for us and Scarlett Kirschenbaum, uh, wishing her a happy birthday. 
and uh, for leading the Vea Hafta. Tonight's uh, virtual Oneg is sponsored by Jan and me in memory of Jan's sister, Rebecca Ellis, and by Leonard Cash and Linda Luna in memory of Leonard's father, Samuel Cash. And we have a few things coming up this week at Temple Sinai. Always a few things. Tomorrow is Minion and Torah study. It begins at 10.30. Monday at 7 o'clock is the social action, well, Carol Cornell's uh, emotional resiliency class, which is really very nice. And uh, this week on Thursday at 1 o'clock is Lunch and Learn with the Rabbi. And all the details of these events will be in Sunday. Today's email blast and happy new year everyone shabbat shalom shabbat shalom thank you maggie and happy new year and also i want to take a moment to recognize um, the wonderful work that maggie does in reaching out to our members and organizing all these wonderful um, honors opportunities we have every shabbat uh, it doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you so much for your hard work with that, Maggie. We really do appreciate that. Thank you. I would also like to mention that if somebody is interested in doing either the candle lighting or leading in the Vea Hafta, they're welcome to contact me. Absolutely. Yes, please do. So you know who to contact. Maggie Freed is our point person on coordinating all of our honors for our Friday night services. Thank you for doing that, Maggie. Uh, so with... Uh, that part of the service concluded. We're going to, uh, everyone, if you take a moment to grab your Kiddush cup, and we'll, we will have the short Kiddush together. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen The first of 2021. And the service would not be complete without a closing song. So uh, we will turn now in our Siddur to page 26 for Adon Olam to the melody of one of my favorites, which is the Scarborough Fair Canticle. So if you'll please join me, Adon Olam. Adon Olam So 
Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Happy New Year. If you want to take a moment now, uh, you can continue to talk in the chat or we'll give everyone the opportunity to unmute and wish each other a Shabbat Shalom. Happy Shabbat New Year. Shabbat Shalom. And please join us for the Oneg, everybody. Shalom, everyone. Yeah. Good to see you all. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.